Uh, hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter blog, also known as the Chatty Pen Pal channel. And today I'm back with another Pen Pal With Me video and we will be decorating this simple envelope. Now, I love this video. I love any, I love making any type of an envelope decorating video. I love sharing them because it is a blank canvas and you can do with it what you want. You can make it as elaborate as you like or as simple as you like. It's, um, yeah, you can just start over every time and I love that. What I'm showing you first is how I turned scraps into these little... Is it a hexagon? Is it an octagon? I still don't know. I think it's a hexagon. One, two, three... I can't count them fast enough. Hold them still. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's a hexagon, right? I just completely distracted myself with that, but yeah, I, I was working with this collection. Um, it's called Jen Hadfield. This is family. I received this collection, the papers and the die cuts from Craftbird, which is a Dutch web shop and I am a brand representative for them, which means that I get cool stuff to work with in my projects. I worked on a project with that paper, which will also be in a video sometime soon. And then I had all of these paper scraps left and I love using them up right away because otherwise they'll just be clutter and I don't like clutter. So I use them up by turning them into these hexagons and I'm going to decorate an envelope with it is what I'm trying to say. So um, the envelope we're making and decorating today was for a craft club swap. If you don't know what the craft club is, you're really missing out. <laughs> it's my Patreon craft club and uh, um, we do a swap every couple of weeks and because this was a celebratory swap celebrating my one year Patreon anniversary I decided to send my partner a little something extra so my swap is uh, bigger than the requirements and I also included a little gift which you saw at the beginning of this video that was that puffy sticker sheet I love puffy stickers. So I decided to include that as an extra to celebrate my one month, my one year on Patreon, kind of cool. And then of course I knew I had to decorate the envelope as well. I mean, I practically always decorate my envelopes. I always do something to them, whether it's washi type or stickers or a label. There's always some sort of decoration because that's just what I love doing. And I love the idea of someone opening their mailbox and seeing something super colorful and fun. But I decided to also make the envelope extra special um, because it's for Patreon. <laughs> I like that. So what I'm doing here is I'm just filling up the gaps because of course, when you have these hexagons, um, there's gonna be gaps. I decided to fill them up with um, little paper scraps as well. Hex hexagon paper scraps. Uh, because I think that just completely, that kind of completes it. Not completely, that completes it. And then I, m during this process, I missed one piece <laughs> uh, and I realized later that it was accidentally glued to the back, so. That's what you get for being a messy crafter, <laughs> but I ended up using it uh, anyway. So this voiceover is also a little bit cr uh, crafty is what I was going to say. It's also a little bit messy because I'm tired and I have decided not to redo this because, you know, it is it is kind of my style and I have been on a little bit of a break from YouTube and from uploading and all of that because I do want to keep it fun and if I'm going to redo my voiceover 70,000 times that takes away a bit of the fun. So you're gonna have to embrace this mess and all. Um, speaking of mess, I also made a little bit of a mess in this part of a video, in this part of the process, because for some reason I wanted to add a golden thread, thread, <laughs> that came out weird, a golden thread, I can't say that word, stitch line like a stitched edge around the envelope. I made two mistakes. First of all, as you can see, it's very wobbly. 
like I obviously can't sew in a straight line. Second mistake I made, you're gonna laugh at me, you probably saw this coming, but I actually sewed my envelope shut. Of course, because I went all around the edges. But luckily, um, I sewed it really close to the edge of the inner flap. So I was able to kind of peel that out and loose so that you can still open the envelope without me having to cut the thread. So it all worked out in the end. But this is just a perfect example of me being a klutz. What I'm doing here is I'm actually using my Distress Oxides, two different colors. Uh, I think it's called Dried Marigold and the other one is um, Worn Lipstick. And what I did is I used them as stamping ink instead of distressing ink. I always forget that you can do that. It's beautifully vibrant colors. And what I did is I actually used two colors on one stamp so that you can still see a little bit of the orange coming through. Um, the pink <laughs> and I really like that yeah it's worn lipstick so here I'm doing it the other way around so first I did the pink and then I did the orange I am just obsessed with this it's a little bit difficult to, to see you will see it better at the end of this video as well but it just gives a really subtle two color effect and it's really cool then I'm also using my archival ink. I forgot to say that I also got the stamps from Craft Bird. I really love that because um, when I do envelope decorating, one thing I always try to keep in mind is that, of course, a lot of decorations might fall off, which is why I love using paper instead of stickers because you can you can use and choose your own adhesive. Um, with stickers often, of course, they're not sticky enough and that's why I also love using stamps and I mean stamped images because of course they're not gonna fall off the envelope. So that's what I did here. I'm just um, using the Distress Oxides as well as the Archival Ink. Archival Ink is basically just waterproof ink. It's really good quality and I love using it. So I'm just using that as well, just in case the envelope does get wet. Uh, at least the black doesn't run everywhere. It doesn't really matter if the pink and orange goes, like it is like um, wiped out a little bit because that would just probably look cool either way. But black is just, mm, it's not gonna work. So this is me writing the name I hope I'm saying this correctly, but it went to Ravathi. Hope I'm saying your name correctly. I'm sorry if I don't. I'm terrible with names. You all know that by now. Like I said, she is one of my patrons uh, and she joined the swap we did and I was her partner. So I got to send to her, um, which is really cool. <laughs> so there's that. This is me picking out the stamps. I decided to go with really generic stamps just because um, I don't know, I didn't really like how the vintage looking ones looked on the envelope and then I also have um, like picture ones with animals and I didn't like how that went either so I just decided to go for kind of, um, kind of background-ish stamps, not really standing out. One thing I did want to stand out is of course my Croft Globe stickers. I had Croft Globe stickers designed and printed by my friend Arumi from uh, Pick Your Mix. She designed a couple of different ones, including these little envelopes with the Croft Club wax seal, which I just thought was really cool. And I decided to stick it on there because obviously it's a craft club swap. So that was today's video. It's a little bit shorter, a little bit simpler than my other videos because like I said, I am taking a little bit of a break from YouTube. If you want to be updated on or notified on when I upload a new video, don't forget to hit the notification bell. You can also join my Patreon, like all of these awesome people, to get some extra behind the scenes and extra content every now and then. And I hope you're all doing amazing. And I'll talk to you again soon. <laughs> okay, bye.